All right. I am currently pulling out of work. Currently pulling out of my spot and everything. And I have quite a fucking story that I think is just hilarious. But God damn, I was pissed the fuck off. Oh my God. And it's, it's worse because I was talking to a coworker earlier and I was like, wow, you know, working in retail, especially like at a grocery store really makes you realize how fucking stupid people are. And then this shit happened and I was just completely and utterly fucking baffled by the, uh, by the audacity of people, by the complete absence of any kind of fucking brain cell in their noggin. So, uh, like I got, I was scheduled to just be on the door today, which means that that's all I was fucking doing is just watching the door, letting people go in and out. You know, everything's fine. Everything's normal. Everything is a okay. And so at the end of the night, obviously my duty is taking care of shit that like, you know, I would otherwise be manning at the door, AKA collecting carts. And so I do that. And while I'm collecting carts at the end of the night, you know, we've locked the door. All right. Because we close at 9 PM and we closed, we locked our doors at 9 PM. And then we start go, uh, me and uh, a co- my coworker and I start going out and collecting the carts. And then as I'm pushing them back into, you know, the fucking main corral, what do I see? But some people standing in front of the fucking door waiting for it to open. And I was like, oh, all right, let me just go up to them and be like, hey, you know, unfortunately we're closed. Uh, like, uh, unfortunately, like, you know, we're, we're fucking closed. Go home, stupid. Get the fuck out of here, idiot. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. You know, because customers always come up and they're always like, oh, uh, uh, what, uh, what time do you guys close? Yeah. Are you guys closed yet? Are you still open? And it's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm tired of you, stupid ass. But this couple... Oh, okay, so at first it's just a woman, and she's just standing there fucking vapidly, and I'm just like, ugh, all right, fine, whatever, I don't care, you know, this is something that I'm used to, and so I'll just go ahead and I'll, like, I'll get up there, and and then I'll tell her, hey, gotta go home, sorry, we're closed. And then her fucking, her mans jumps out of the fucking, like, van that's parked, like, two feet from the fucking entrance, and he pulls up next to her, and then as he pulls up next to her, he, like, they, like, share some words... And then I see them pry the fucking door open! Like, they literally look at each other, share some words, and then I see the girl just fucking stick her hands in between the door, which is closed, and isn't opening, because we're fucking closed, and then just pries them open! And I was like, oh, 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 a word. So, so, so you're fucking dumb. So you don't have any fucking brain cells to rub together. You don't even have, like, the semblance of one. When you were born, God didn't even give you, like, the vague shape of a brain cell. He completely emptied your fucking head and then just sent you out into the world. And so they pry open the door and they walk in. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't know what's going on. Like, you know, maybe maybe they work here. Maybe they're doing something. Maybe they're taking care of some business. And so I push the carts in and then I like kind of, I, I just look through the window to see if I can see them. And if I like, you know, if they, if I see them doing shit, then great. By all means, continue on. I'll do nothing. But then I see them shopping for fucking produce. And so I'm like, okay, well now, now I gotta be fuck. Now I'm like reasonably upset. Because you've been stupid in my fucking presence, and I do not stand for stupid people in my fucking presence! And, like, I push the carts in, I see them in there, and then I just walk the fuck in there. I pry the doors open myself, and I'm like, hey, like, uh, no. I got two fucking shifts left. I'm gonna beat your ass if I have to. I do not care. What are they gonna do? Fire me? I'd like to see them try. And so, you know, I, I pry the doors open, I just storm the fuck in. And then, like, uh, I almost just straight up approach them without my mask on. Because, like, when I'm pushing cars and shit, obviously that's a lot of effort exerted. And so I take my mask off so I'm not, you know, like, huffing and puffing and suffocating the shit out of myself. And so I take it off and I stick it in my pocket. And so when I storm in, literally all I can think of is, how fucking dumb are you? 
how how completely daft are you that you think you can just open door, close the doors and walk the fuck in and like it's and like I'm five steps from them and I'm like oh okay I gotta pull my mask on so I slow down I pull my mask on and then I walk the fuck up and then I'm just like hello excuse me we're closed and I walk up to them and I'm just like yeah, I try I try so fucking hard to like just put on my guest service voice. Because, it, like, I don't, I don't want to yell at people. I don't like to be upset. I, I truly do not like to be angry. But these people were just so fucking, like, dumb. And it just, like, it blew my mind so hard that they thought that that was an okay course of action to take. That I just, like, I was unbridled anger. Just absolute fury. And I walk up to them, and I was just like, hey, just so you know, we close at 9. The doors were closed. I saw you pry them open. We're closed at 9. When the doors are closed, that means no one can come in. And they look at me, and they're like, oh, but uh, there was someone who was uh, trying to get out. And I was like, yeah, because he was at the wrong door. The exit is over there. He came in when we were still open. And now he was trying to leave through the same door, because normally the same door that you enter from is the one that you exit from. When we're almost closed, we change the door so that people can exit faster. And they were just like, oh, but uh, uh, this is like all we need. And they're holding like eight fucking vegetables. And I was just like, okay, that's fine. I'm just letting you know, thank you, bye. And they look at me and I look at them and I'm just like, say something, I fucking dare you. Say something about how I'm fucking mean to you. I'll beat your teeth down your goddamn throat. And, like, the fact that they, like, were just, like, so astounded by me approaching them was just, like, even more, it's, like, annoying. Just, like, uh, like, I'm, I'm trying so hard to come up with descriptive words that do not include me using the word fuck. But for fuck's sake... Were you raised with no fucking manners when an automatic door does not open for you? You don't pry them open. You either leave or you find an employee that, you know, that will tell you what the fuck is up with the door. And, okay, so, like, some of you might be thinking, oh, uh, maybe they just didn't know, uh... You, you, and you, maybe they just didn't know this, the new store hours in regards to COVID-19 in regards to the quarantine shutdown. I, I, I don't, first of all, I, I, I don't care. I don't care if they don't know. If a door does not open for you, you do not pry it open. That is common fucking sense. That is common fucking logic. You just do not pry open a door that is not open for you. That doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Second of all, our hours are posted outside. Oh my god. Oh, I'm reaching new 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 pitches that I did not think possible for a voice like myself. But our hours are literally posted on the door. They say new store hours in regards to the like in regards to the coronavirus are 8 are 8 to 9 p.m. 8 to 9. There is a sign broadly posted on the fucking doors that they pried open that say 8 to 9 p.m. And yet they have the absolute fucking audacity to pry open the doors! I'm still so heated about this. Because it just doesn't make any sense to me why anybody ever would try to force doors open that do not open, f like, for them. When automatic doors do not open for you automatically, maybe that's a sign that you shouldn't be fucking going in. It's that easy! It is... 45 fucking minutes later. 45 minutes after that fucking horrible, absolutely batshit insane experience. Where I watched people think it was okay to essentially break in. And I am, I have, I'm still heated 
I'm still baffled. I'm still completely and utterly lost as to why people could ever think that that was okay. Listen, moral of the story is perhaps if a door does not immediately open for you, as it, you know, should, um, then perhaps you should evaluate. Take a look around. See if you can figure out any context clues that might give you reason as to why the door is not opening. Perhaps there's a do not disturb sign hung on the doorknob. Perhaps there is a sock hung on the doorknob. Wink, wink. Perhaps there is a broad fucking sign placed on the sliding doors that you are trying to enter through saying the store hours. And then you can also look at your watch or your phone to note why it's not opening. Don't, don't, don't pry them open. Do not force open a door that is not immediately open to you. Actually, let's rehash that. So the two points that I'm most upset about are that they pried open the doors and that the hours were posted broadly on the doors that they pried open. So I think the moral of the story here is if an automatic sliding door, automatic sliding door, does not open for you when you're in range of its sensor, then maybe you should think about that. Why isn't it opening? And then look around. If you can see some signs, you know, stores generally have signs that say what their hours are. And if you can see it on the door that's not opening for you, then perhaps you can make heads or tails of the situation. It's really that easy. Learn to fucking read. Please. Just please.